Welcome to the Bear Pit TV, sponsored by FansBet. This is my preferred 11 for this Saturday's game against Derby County at home. I don't think I've struggled as much as this for a long time to, to select a formation, a set of players I think can do a job. Obviously, we, we played Paul in the first two league games using the diamond formation and played a lot, lot better against Wigan in midweek in the cup with five at the back and one. Based on them factors, I, I can only assume you have to go with that five at the back than wing backs because it's by far our best forms of the season so far. We look so much more stable at the back. But more specifically, we're actually a lot tighter down the flanks. Probably the biggest criticism of the Diamond so far is that teams just get down our sides so, so easily. With three in the middle, I think it allows us to cover this area a lot more effectively. So, my first 11 will be Jack Butland in net. I would go with James McLean at left wing back. I think having three centre backs allows us to protect him in that position a lot more effectively. Right wing back, I will go with Tommy Smith. I appreciate it's still quite tough on Tom Edwards, but I, I, he started with Smith. I do rate Smith at this level, and I think he's still got a little bit more to give before we can truly conclude who is the better of the two. The three centre backs that I go with are Danny Batts, Liam Lindsay, and Nathan Collins. Collins, who is getting better and better, and just recently this week received his first full Ireland international call up. Moving on into midfield, Ryan Woods back in the squad, playing very well. I am delighted for Woods because I know he's a good player. We saw brief glimpses of that last season, then he completely went out of the picture. But he's back so far, performing very well, and hopefully, we're going to see the best of him. A player that definitely has the ability, but for whatever reason, we've not quite seen it consistently at Stoke. In midfield alongside Ryan Woods, Etebo is back. His brief cameo against Wigan proved that he's still a great, great player. and He, he clearly wants to be here from what I can see. Alongside him, it was either going to be Joan or Klukas. Joan's come in for a little bit of stick so far this season. I kind of understand it to a point. But I think with a wing-back formation, it will allow him a little bit more freedom to get forward where he's, he's most dangerous. So alongside Woods and Etebo, I will go with John. And finally up front, Hogan and Gregory. I thought they were great. I say great, we lost to Charlton, but I thought they were very, very effective against Charlton. And um, as already mentioned, it was the first time in a long time I've seen strikers actually harass, chase, and more specifically work in that department for a long, long time. I think they deserve another go together. So let me know in the comments if you think that formation works, if it's the right thing to go for. Should we stick with the diamonds? Should we have gone for 4-4-2? Or do you think the wing-back, five-at-the-back formation is the way to go? A big game for Stoke, and um, with the two losses already this season, we really need to be winning this game to take the pressure off the squad, but more specifically off Nathan Jones.